we are going to talk about solving problems with natural logs. So a natural log is represented by ln, and if you're working with natural logs, the base is automatically e. And e is not a variable, e is actually a number like pi, it's irrational, it goes on forever, never ends, and there's a button for it on a calculator. So if we are solving and we have e in the problem, what you want to do is get the e by itself first, and then take the natural log of both sides. So this is four times this expression. To get rid of it, I would divide both sides by four. So I have e1 minus 4x equals four. Now that I have the e by itself and there's nothing else on its level, it's okay that there's stuff in the exponent but nothing else here, we take the natural log of both sides. Now the reason that we do this is because the natural log and e cancel each other out because the base again is e and anything that has the base and this number the same cancel out. So we have one minus four x equals the natural log of four. And now we just have to solve for x. So you would subtract one from both sides. So negative four x equals natural log of four minus one. And then we divide by negative four. So if we put this in the calculator, we would have negative 0.09657 approximately. Now, if we're solving with natural logs, we still think the natural log by itself, like we did up here with the e, and then you raise both sides to the power of e. So I'd first divide by two. So this would give me natural log of x equals six, and then you raise both sides to the power of e. So you do e to the power of ln of x equals e to the six. Now again, the reason we do this is that these cancel out because the base is e, and so those cancel out. So you have x equals e to the 6. So you can put that in your calculator. And again, rounded, that would be 403.4288 approximately.